Hello students, in this video of ours, we are going to study so as to what is the meaning of power voltage rating. This is a chapter in uh, class 10th of current and electricity. That is the uh, name of the chapter. Power voltage rating. What is the meaning? Why should it be written? And why it is mandatory to state both power and voltage? So that we are going to see. Suppose an electrical bulb is written with like this 100 watt and 220 volt. This means only this. If you operate this bulb at 220 volt of input that is your supply 220 volt across this bulb this bulb will consume 100 joule of energy in one second 100 watt means 100 joule of energy if a device is consuming 100 joule of energy in one second we say its power input is 100 watt if it is consuming 100 joule of energy in one second and, and you need to mention that when it is operated at 220 volt I will uh, make it amply clear to your mind so as to why should we mention at 220 volt why just saying 100 watt is not sufficient because same bulb same bulb will consume different energy when it is operated at different volt so one of the expression for power is V square upon R now here you can see this resistance let me say for making a bulb, this is representing a resistance of a bulb. If you have made a bulb and you have taken certain amount of resistance into it, that is put permanently. Now you cannot change it. And let us not go into those details of when it is for uh, continuously being used, heat will increase and temperature will. Let us not say that resistance for every practical purpose for uh, finding out this relation say is constant. So if you have designed a bulb, if you have made a bulb, the resistance is constant. And uh, when you are operating at 220 volt, we will say how much is the power. So now in this, uh, uh, by knowing 100 watt as power and this is as the voltage, I will find out resistance. If I put R, it will become 220 volt into 220. I am leaving out the units 220, 220 upon 100. So this becomes, uh, you can say 484 ohms. Now resistance, whether you supply it less voltage or more voltage that resistance will not change but power will definitely change and how will you change that we will see the same bulb is having resistance of 484 ohms now if you give it say 110 volt you supply resistance potential difference is 110 volt and resistance is 484 ohms now see let us say how much of power it will consume so once again we say uh, just me v out so now if you see this will become power is equal to v square upon r so it will become 110 into 110 and divide by 484 if you strike it out 225 again 5 so this will become 25 volt now same bulb which when was operated at 220 volt was consuming 100 joule of energy in one second will consume 25 joule of energy in one second when it is operated at 110 volt when it is operate it at 110 it will be able to consume just 25 joule in one second so it is mandatory for us to specify both 100 watt at 220 volt same bulb which was consuming 100 joule of energy in one second when was being connected across 220 volt when you connect the same bulb across 110 volt it will be able to consume 25 joules in one second so it is power voltage rating specifying both is mandatory you cannot just say this bulb is of 100 watt because that is also of 25 watt what is making it 100 watt or 25 watt how much of voltage you operate it at so it is mandatory for us to mention both power as well as voltage that we are operating or applying across this device so that was all about power voltage rating